friends welcome back to my channel so today's look is on this very minimalistic makeup look it is a five minute makeup look and I swear by it for me I just like showing the products and stuff so it should take a little bit longer but if I was just doing the full like wham bam turkey and ham just putting it on it would take five minutes like literally it's so quick so I really do hope you guys enjoy today's video and I will not ramble and I'll just get straight into it let's get into this face hope you guys enjoy okay guys first things first i like to always work on the skin this is a five minute look so it is very much skin focused so first of all i like to go in usually i'll cleanse and then moisturize i felt my skin was a little bit dry today so i went in with my primer from hello fab it's the coconut smoothie skin priming moisturizer i believe and i just apply that all over the face um just to hydrate it a little bit Next, I go in with a face oil. This is a vitamin C serum from Mabox, and I applied just a little bit of that, just a couple drops to my face, and just rubbed that in as well, just because it's so good for the skin. It's vitamin C, so it helps um, protect and heal damaged skin from the sun and everything like that. If you guys like to apply sunscreen, now is the time to apply it, and then I go in with a primer. So I'm going in with this primer spray in oil control, so it helps control my oils, oils because I am an oily skin girl. Next, I'm going to go in with a bronzer. This is the one from Benefit, a hula bronzer. And I apply it with my finger. As you can see, it is very much uh, like empty. There's not a lot left. So I just like to apply it with my finger over the premises of my face where we usually get bronze. And over the nose as well on the chin and jawline and a bit down my neck. I just like to apply it over the nose just to get that sun kiss kind of look. And then I blend it in with my Kabuki brush from Sigma. Just gives a nice natural kind of you know, warmth to the skin. I really love it just for the minimal makeup days and it's so easy to apply. I love cream products. They just look so natural on the skin. So next I'm going to take my concealer. And as you can see, this is the time to kind of conceal up those bad boys, those blemishes, those acne scars, breakouts and things. I have a few on my skin just because I've been picking at it lately. I know I shouldn't be, but I have. So I'm just applying my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium Moyen. This one is absolutely perfect. It matches my skin tone to a T. So I love using it to conceal up any breakouts and things. I also conceal up under my eyes and give myself a bit of a chiseled contour a little bit. Just a subtle one. Very natural looking. And then I'll go and blend the concealer in with my F86 Kabuki brush from Sigma, just a tapered Kabuki brush. To set the concealer in place, I'm going to take the raw pressed powder and apply it with a dry beauty sponge. This one is from EcoTools. I'm um, basically just pressing the powder into the skin to really set all that concealer in place. I'm applying it all over the concealer areas and also setting my forehead kind of t-zone area with that powder as well um, because I am oily um, my oils can tend to get kind of crazy in that area so I like to give myself a bit of a barrier kind of help stop those oils seeping through then I'll um, spray a setting spray on my face this one is the locket setting spray from Kat Von D the 24 hour one so I like to use that to just set my make makeup in place for the blush, I'm going to take this one from Maybelline, the cream, cream blush, the cream blush. I'm basically just applying that to the back of my hand to warm, warm the product up, get it kind of ready to apply to the skin. And I'm applying it to the contours of my cheeks and also along my nose area to give that natural kind of sun-kissed redness to the, to the skin without actually getting like burnt, you know. I just love that look. I think it's so natural and so complimentary to the natural makeup days. To like feeling my brows, I'm actually just going to go in with a tinted brow gel. I love this to hold like my hairs in place and give my kind of brows a bit of life again, like back to them again. So this is from Rimmel. It's the Brow This Way Brow Sculpting Gel. For highlight today, I'm going to go in with my Violet Voss Highlighting Kit and take the lighter shade in the middle shade and I'm applying that to the high points of my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, Cupid's bow and like lip to just give a bit of a glow to the skin. Then I set my skin again with a with the same makeup setting spray I used before. And that, my friends, is the finished makeup look. For this hair look, I will link the video up above. I have done a tutorial on this hair like style, so I will link that for you guys. 
But otherwise, that is the finished makeup. Quick and easy. I love these kind of makeup looks for those just minimal days, you know. So guys, this concludes today's video. As I said already, I'll make sure to leave up above my hair tutorial on this like braid crown thing. I've already done like a hair tute on it, so I wasn't like gonna put it in the video. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed the video. I forgot to say I do usually add like a little bit of like lip balm to my lips, and I usually go in with like Blistex or the one from um, Puta Healing because it's quite natural. So I always like to kind of use that one as well, but I've just got the Blistex one with me at the moment. This one's so good for winter, which we're going into right now, just because um, it protects uh, against, like, the wind chill and everything. And also it's got SPF in it, so I was just quite like it for that kind of reason. Um, but yeah. But pretty much this is my five-minute makeup look. It is similar to maybe one I've done before. I don't know. I can't really remember. I've done so many tutorials. But I just thought I'd do an updated one for you guys. You have requested it. And I did want to kind of show you something that you can do within five minutes. Something simple and easy. I haven't done a really easy look lately. So I thought it would be something for you guys to just chuck on. It's literally so minimal. There's minimal products, minimal effort. It's so easy. I use this for work or if I'm going out somewhere I just want to look a little bit more done up. Or like I showed you guys, I had a bit of acne spots going on around my chin area that I just want covered up. And I'm like, I might as well do a bit of extra something if I'm just going to cover up the acne. So, yeah. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure to give a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe down below for me down so I can see you guys in my upcoming videos and you guys can join my YouTube fam, all that kind of jazz. Don't even know what my hands are doing. Let's just move on. But yeah, I love you all so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye.